just about to strip out the back part of the uh, camp here. I've got to pull this tray out or push it out of the way. I've got to be able to get to this electrical panel at the moment. It's um, locked in and I need to get an electrical panel because I'm replacing this old sine wave inverter with this Fitronox one. Victron, sorry. 375 watts at 12 volts. The back says it draws 35 amps DC. So I should have enough um, cable and fusing stuff to happen. Hard to protect that once it's stored. That's a little bit wider than the original one, so I'm going to have to um, probably um, unmount this electrical box because there's a little tab that comes under here as well, just so I can get this out. And I'll probably need to mount my battery monitor up a little bit higher. Another reason why I'm pulling all this stuff out. This um, inverter comes with a Bluetooth dongle as well and a free app as well. So the Bluetooth app helps you um, monitor power consumption, all that sort of stuff. And also uh, you use the Bluetooth app to set up the inverter. So it's got a low voltage cutout and a few other features as well. As you can see, I've taken out the angle and I've got the um, shelf air that was here and I've unmounted now the electrical board. Just sitting in here loose at the moment. So now I've got to undo all this stuff so I can um, fit the new inverter in. should mention before I start playing the electrical stuff, I'm going to just isolate. There's a... Um, MIDI fuse here for the canopy. That's the only supply into that power board. So I'm going to take the MIDI fuse out of there so that I can isolate all the power to that board before I start playing with things. Well, I've got the old sine wave inverter out. Didn't have a plug in the back or some terminal, so I've had to cut the wires. That's them there, which is fine. The new sine wave inverter had just got some uh, screw lugs on the back. So I'll um, trim them up, solder them, the ends. And then I can wire them straight into the back of the um, Inverter, battery monitor is just um, down. I've pulled the bracket off, that's the mounting bracket. So I should be able to um, just mount up this fuse box in position, locate the sine wave inverter, new sine wave inverter next to it, mount it up. I suspect I might have to do something with these holes here, that's for this inverter, and that's the battery monitor. But I'll have to have a look and see, see what's going to happen. Okay, I've got um, my um, fuse board back in and I've mounted up in half anyhow the inverter. Just got to um, get some stainless screws and nuts for that. I've mounted up the Bluetooth dongle and already plugged it in. Um, I've soldered up the wires and I've put some heat shrink on it. Tighted up the wiring a little bit at the back, just uh, by sticking some more um, cable ties and stuff. Like that. I've loaded up the app Victron Connect. The inverter needs to be on to connect because it needs power. You can see there that it's not drawing any load at all. We got AC up at 230 volts. It's 50 hertz as well. It says it's inverting. I've got it on power at the moment, so it's not an eco mode. And it's detecting voltage at 12.76 volts and on my battery manager showing it at 12.8 if i turn it off it'll um disconnect from the app as well and you see that i've given it a personalized name kenny and victron inverter some may be asking why i've got a victron inverter not a red arc or some other product um probably two reasons. I've got a mate who's uh, an electrical supply business, a local business, uh, Sheriff Electrical. Uh, so I'm supporting local. Um, he's giving me a reasonable price on this as well. Uh, these are actually a Netherland based product, but made in India, believe it or not. Yeah, the second reason I got this was um, it wasn't made in that other country. So if a mate hadn't been able to get this for me, uh, I would probably, um, I've got a Red Arc one. Now he's also uh, supplied, uh, sourced and supplied for me a CellFi mobile phone boost. I've yet got to install that.